Welcome. It is my pleasure to bring you this training session covering launching the HAP program. By saying HAP, I am referring to the Carrier Hourly Analysis Program. It is well known for its versatile features for load calculation and performing energy analysis for commercial buildings. It is also widely used for generating lead Energy and Atmosphere Credit One submission data. After you have successfully installed the HAP software, launching the program is next. Installation of the HAP software is covered in a separate training segment called HAP Infrastructure and Installation. That training segment is a great prerequisite to this one and should be reviewed first. Our objectives for this training session are access the HAP program once it's installed on your computer, create a desktop or bottom taskbar icon to be able to start HAP. Access the user account control window and then the HAP splash screen. And lastly, highlight and open an existing project or click on the new button to start a brand new project in HAP. Let's begin. Once HAP is installed, it should appear in the list of programs on your computer. I am using Windows 7, so I can first look for HAP by clicking Start, All Programs, Carrier ECAT and E22 programs, and then Hourly Analysis Program 4.91. You can easily create a desktop or a bottom taskbar icon to start HAP instead of going through this process. Instead of left clicking to launch the program like I could do right now, you can right click on the HAP startup link. Then either choose to pin HAP to the taskbar or pin to the start menu. Another popular approach is to send to desktop and create a desktop shortcut. The term ECAT refers to the Carrier Electronic Catalog Equipment Selection Programs, also called builders and they are available by contacting your carrier representative locally. They will set you up with access for free download. The other term, E20-2, refers to the suite of design programs like HAP. The newer name for the E22 design program suite is eDesign Suite. There are several other design programs in the eDesign Suite available from Carrier and these will be covered in a separate training segment. HAP version 4.91 was the latest one at the time this training segment was made. You may have noticed older versions of HAP also appear on my computer to choose from. I'd suggest keeping older versions installed. They don't use up much space and they may come in handy. An example might be if you had submitted a lead project previously and need to reproduce the original results using the version used at time of submission. One of the methods to bring old project work forward into the latest version of HAP is to make an archive of it first. To do that, you need the old version installed. We will cover archive training on another training segment. After clicking on Hourly Analysis Program 4.91, you may get the User Account Control window. If you click Yes, HAP will start normally. If you click No, HAP will not start. The message says, do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? Answer yes. This does not mean HAP will perform in any harmful way to your computer. User account control was introduced in Windows a while back and is also included in later versions of Windows. Whether or not this appears depends on the level of security on your individual computer. Again, this does not indicate that the software is performing incorrectly or in any harmful way. After answering yes to the user account control, we are presented with the HAP splash screen. This screen is important. First of all, you are reminded in big dark letters which version of HAP you will soon launch. This is important as you want to be using the latest updated version of the software in most all cases. HAP updates come about twice a year. If there are major modeling enhancements, Carrier usually advances the first number next to the decimal. For example, version 4.80 became version 4.90 by the addition of a major update 
that contain chill water plant heat recovery models. An example of a minor version update was when 4.90 became version 4.91. Let me remind us that this current version is applicable at the time that we tape this training session. You may be reviewing this training session at a time where we have evolved past 4.91. When you say OK, HAP will display the open project window as shown here. From here you can choose to highlight and open an existing project or click on the new button and start a brand new project and then you are ready to work. Other HAP training segments will cover the functionality of the find button. If you are running HAP on a network installation everything we discussed in this training session with respect to launching the program is the same. Networks are discussed in a separate training session titled HAP Infrastructure and Installation. This completes our training session on launching HAP. I hope you found the information useful. Make note of the software systems email shown here and send us any questions you may have on this topic we just covered or any others related to HAP such as licensing and training. Thank you.